Welcome to Best Recaps. We'll go over an sci-fi movie that was underestimated. Enjoy! The inmates were forced to work in the quarry, their mouths covered with iron masks to prevent them from speaking, eating, or even breathing. In the middle of the quarry was a massive meat grinder, in which the prisoners were chained to. One day, the grinder suddenly stopped working and the warden ordered Kai to repair it. A new prisoner was brought in, and during the distraction, one of the inmates had started a rebellion, and the chain pulled the rebel in. The newcomer surveyed the area and two started a riot. The warden then restarted the meat grinder, this time setting up a mode designed to draw out all of the prisoners. In a desperate attempt to save his own life and that of his comrades, he grabs a machine gun and attempts to shoot off the chain. Kai frees himself from the shackles but lost his leg in process. Upon awakening, Kai finds that he has been fitted with a prosthetic leg. The warlord takes off Kai's mask and reveals that he has been in war with Lang's prisons for years and now needs someone from inside to help to board the ship and gain intel. From there to New Holland to save Kai's dad, which execution is scheduled on the day of his release. Once on the vessel, Kai accesses the computer and Hatch instructs him via earpiece on what he needs. An event transpires on the ship and it drops the capsules with the passengers before soaring to an unknown planet. The guy wakes up and dashes out, but he went back for his helmet as the atmosphere is toxic. Kai attempts to require info from the computer, but the program asks for authorization. Oleander, the leader of the main ship, summoned the survivors and orders them to congregate at the crash site. Kai stepped back from the shuttle and noticed Oleander's corpse and a capsule from which a young girl had emerged. The man gave Terran his mask and helped the girl to the shuttle not noticing the dead man being taken away by a strange creature. After regaining her conscience, the girl suspected that the guy had boarded the ship without authorization, so the two of them set out to locate the wreckage. Terran noticed that the corroded metal was breaking down rapidly, suggesting that the noxious air would eventually corrode human skin. Through his telescope, Kai observed a vessel near which there was a glowing rod releasing electric shocks. Terran assumed Kai was a soldier of fortune, and she pledged to ensure him a fair trial, convincing him that he was wrong about the warlord. However, the boy refused to depart with the army to Earth to escape being sent back to jail. After handing over her weapon, Kai left. He attempted to fly away, yet Reef's system says again he had no authority. He then attempted to obtain legal data about Hatch, yet he only succeeded in watching a recording of the elderly man's interrogation, in which he confessed to his offenses against Lang and his wish for a more harsh prison. Kai encountered Terran and said he would try to take off, but they had to be quick as the escape pods were departing the planet soon. On Terran's advice, Kai removed his clothes so the crew wouldn't realize he was a saboteur, but it was in vain. Kai is trapped by an unidentified monster which dragged him under the rocks. Terran arrives in the shuttle and takes off her helmet, exhausted from a lack of oxygen. The computer informs her of something that requires her to take action and she goes to the rock Kai saw. She finds him covered in slime next to it and brings him back to the shuttle, where he is no longer affected by toxic air and he got amnesia now. She reveals that there are no more escape pods, but that she found someone who can lift the shuttle. They discover a glowing stone which is actually Oleander's body, but he does not awaken. Suddenly, Oleander regains consciousness and speaks of a hatch and a heart that needs to be destroyed, then shoots Terran before passing out again. He later awakens wounded in the desert and finds Terrence's skeleton nearby. He has been gone for 34 days and the shuttle engine is burnt, so he won't make it back in time to save his dad. He tries to repair the engine, but wakes up to strange noises and his body warps. The computer directs the pilot to leave the ship, which Kai does and in the dark he turns into a monster. Three years later, Kai has accepted living with the monster inside him. Reef examines the tissues and finds they are a perfect match to Oleander's. Realizing the only way to save himself is to grab that monster so Reef could try to reverse the mutation in Kai. He waits outside, waiting for Monster to appear. When it arrives, he destroys it and Reef analyzes the tissues and confirms that they are an exact match to Oleander's. 
He listens to a recording of the night the commander shot a girl and discovers that Terran is still alive. Kai deploys a virtual friend, so the two can search for the heart. They traverse the desert and find tunnels, where Reeve scans them. However, a loud noise from computer awakens a terrifying creature that engages upon them. He then finds a wall with Oleander's head sticking out, realizing that this is the heart of which the Reef was talking about. Kai goes to the place where Reef last located Terran. He is overjoyed to learn that the girl is alive and managed to escape. In the tunnel, he found a grenade in his old prosthetic limb and suddenly, burned capsules start falling from the sky. Kai starts to realize what Hatch truly desired to do, which is to take over. He watches as the old man approaches him after a few minutes. Soon after, Hatch knocks out Kai and when he wakes up, he finds Tyron sitting there. The dictator threatens to kill the girl if he does not receive the data from the ship. Yet Kai comprehends that Hatch needs the information to seize control of the prison. The old man manages to locate the package himself, but instead he activates the bomb that Kai had prepared for him. Kai mutates into a monster, demolishing his computer and trying to hurt Terran. However the girl screams at her friend and he is able to revert to his normal state. Astonishingly, Hatch survives and takes revenge on Kai for not helping him take over the planet. Kai is able to turn into the monster without going mad and he defeats the old man. Afterwards, Kai, Reef, and Terran set off to Earth to save the world from the second dictator, Lang. Thank you for watching. What would you do if you had a monster inside you? Please hit that subscribe and like button.